Mastery camos in Black Ops 6 take a long time. That is until now, because no, this is not clickbait. In this video, I am going to show you how to get Nebula in one game every single time, and not just that, incredibly, incredibly quickly. If you're like me, you have been grinding camos in Black Ops 6, multiplayer, and zombies, and noticed that Nebula camo within zombies takes a really long time to earn. However, they broke it with Season 1. No, I am not kidding. Within one game, you can get Nebula on any weapon. And not just that, technically, you could get Nebula on every single weapon in the game in one game. And it's really, really easy. And it's all because of what they added with Season 1. Just to be clear, before I get into the method of doing this, to get gold on a weapon, it'll take about an hour and 15 minutes. And to get Nebula, it'll take about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes on one weapon. This is by far the current fastest method to do this, and it is insanely, insanely easy. Anyone can do it, there are no glitches, it's just the way the game works now. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So when you go into zombies here, you are now going to have another option as far as which mission you can select. You can select standard or you can select directed. Now, as far as getting Nebula on a weapon, there are a couple of things that you're going to need to do. Essentially, the hardest things to do are 2000 headshots. I'm going to show you how to do that. Get 30 special kills with a weapon, which is in other words, is get 30 mangler kills and then get 10 elite kills all of which you can do in one game. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to do this because by the time you got 2000 kills, you're gonna be at like round 35 to 40, which at that point, your gun's a pea shooter. Then you need to back out, go into another game, get 30 special kills, back out, go into another game, get 10 elite kills. It would take about three to four hours per weapon. This takes an hour and a half. So let me show you. So when you go into a game of directed, you are going to notice right away in the top right hand corner of the screen, you are going to have a round cap. And the further you get into the maps Easter egg, the higher that round cap goes all the way up into round 15. The magic number that we are going with here on Liberty Falls, by the way, this doesn't really work on Terminus. You can do it, but it's not nearly as good. And you're going to see why as we go through now. That magic number of 11 means you want to get to round 11 and stay at round 11. There's a couple of reasons for that. Now, to get to round 11, all you need to do is fully open up the map and essentially get to Pack-a-Punch. Once you are at Pack-a-Punch, you are good. Now, there's a couple of other things I noticed about the directed mode. From what I've seen, a lot more salvage drops. And on top of that, since the level cap is there, it is way easier to kill zombies. Zombies are not going to get super bullet spongy, and you're going to be able to do this very easily. So once you've opened up the entire map and made it to round 11, the next thing that you're going to want to do is get to the roof. Why are we going to the roof? Is because in directed, you do not have to wait to round 25 for the Wonder Fizz machine to spawn in, which means... In this map, previously you couldn't buy Deadshot Daiquiri until round 25 unless you did the mini Easter egg. This time, you can just buy it as your very first perk right away. In fact, all of the perks you can buy on top of this roof. On top of that, you are just going to stay on this roof. Now, the magic thing about round number 11. On round number 11, every time you finish a wave, because there are still waves, you just stay at round 11, there is going to be a mangler that spawns in every single round. Just as a side note, you do need to complete the interact with the mysterious device inside the church in order for the mangler to spawn every single round. If you don't do that, you can still get to round 11 and the mangler won't spawn. As soon as you activate the device, the mangler spawns every round. And because you're at a low level, the mangler is incredibly easy to kill. And on top of that, you can just keep leveling up your weapon, getting more salvage, getting a higher rarity and getting a higher pack a punch and stay at that round 11 number. I found if you had a blue weapon that was a tier two pack a punch, you would one shot pretty much everything to the head. And on top of that, kill the mangler incredibly quickly, be able to clear a wave in about one minute, almost exactly one minute. Sometimes it was like 54 seconds was the most. A minute and seven seconds was the longest per wave. Yes, you do have to wait for the next one to spawn in. And every single wave, you're going to be able to get 34 headshots. So you take 2000 headshots, divide that by 34 per round. That is going to take you about 58 rounds and each round takes one minute. Therefore, you can get your 2000 headshots in 58 minutes. This 
would take much, much longer if you were doing it any other way. But on top of that, every single round a mangler spawns. So if you have weapons that you need to get special kills on, you can complete this at the same time. Or you can just continue on with round 11 after you get your weapon gold and continue that weapon just on round 11, getting mangler kills every single round. And if you're doing the math, that is one mangler kill per minute. So about 30 minutes to get 30 mangler kills again, very, very quickly. But as you noticed, I said you could get nebula in this game as well, which means you need elite kills. So how do we do that part? For this, you're going to need to continue on with the Easter egg and do it till pretty close towards the end. For this, you have to use the Ether Storm because basically the way that you do this is when you go into the Ether Storm, you end up summoning an elite enemy. And when you do so, you just don't complete the Easter egg part. In other words, you don't activate the trap. You just kill the elite monster. And then about every minute and a half, you're going to be able to respawn another elite monster. The fastest way to do that is go pick up the canister, put it back down, go back to the ether storm, reactivate it. It will immediately summon another elite monster and you can get your 10 elite kills in like 10 minutes. This is incredibly easy to do. And again, because that level cap only goes up to 15, you can triple pack your weapon. You can get three plates at this point. You can do this incredibly easily and incredibly quickly. Now, there's a couple other tips that will speed this up as well. So personally, I liked staying on the roof because the zombies literally come at you in a straight line. If you go where I go here, very easy to get headshots. On top of that, there is an ammo box up there. There is a machine where you can up the rarity of your weapon. And then the wonder fizz is up there as well. The only thing that's not up there is pack a punch. But let's be honest, you don't have to go there very often. You're not going to want to pick up any insta kills or nukes. Nukes for obvious reasons, that gets rid of the zombies and insta kills because if you get headshots on armored zombies when you have insta kill, it doesn't count as headshots. Why? I don't know. Now, there are going to be a couple of challenges that you have to adjust to, whether that's 300 point blank kills. Again, this will be incredibly easy to do this way, or whether that be get vermin kills. There is actually a little bit of a trick to that one. If you do not activate the machine, then vermin kills will spawn in. And as soon as you activate the machine, the vermin basically stop and manglers start. So based off of the challenges you need to get for a weapon, adjust the strategy that you are using. You might have to do that for a couple different challenges here and there. So like vermin or parasites, obviously you gotta do that one on term as it. Now there may be one other thing you noticed about what I said. I said you could get all 33 weapons completed in one game because you very rarely need to buy ammo. And if you do, it is incredibly cheap and you can kill zombies incredibly quickly. Technically, if you're getting close to completing a weapon, you can just go get a wall by weapon or go to the mystery box and grab another weapon and grind that one at the same time. So say, for example, you were trying to level up the AK and the Mog, both of which are wall by weapons. You can get both of those and maybe one of them you're going for headshots and the other one you're going for special zombie kills. You can just kill the special zombie every single round with one weapon and get headshots with the other one and basically complete two camos at the exact same time, incredibly easy. And again, completing one round every minute. So in other words, you can get your 30 mangler kills done in 30 minutes and then your headshots for a weapon completely done in 58 minutes. It's a very, very fast method. And I don't even think any other way is close to this. On top of that, there is no XP cap. There is no headshot cap. You can just stay in this game forever and do this forever. And on top of that, you can save and quit if you want and go back, look at your menus, figure out what weapon you want to do next and make a plan of attack. Just go back into round 11 and stay in a game forever and complete all of your Nebula camos in one game. Hopefully this was able to help you out. I know I don't normally do this style of zombies video, but I just wanted to put this out there. Maybe it gets patched in one way or another. But again, it's currently the fastest method and you can complete your Nebula camos incredibly, incredibly quickly. Just doing the math, you can complete your nebula in about 33 hours if you really want to do so. Oh yeah, and while you're in game, you can activate some double XP, double weapon XP, or even double battle pass XP because you're probably going to be in here for a little while. And if you get a weapon that you need to level up, you might as well do that too. And that is for all weapons. So if I helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars. But we're making this